Okay, we're looking at Bagster's VNC program for remote controlling the OSD. Hi everyone. To, uh, I'll walk you through the steps to get the VNC server running on the OSD so that you can remotely control your, uh, your OSD's menuing system based on the work that Bagster had done. So first I've gone to the forums post where we uh, can get to the link of Bagster's work. I'll click on that. Here are some files that we're going to download and drop onto a either USB card or SD card, whatever you want to be able to plug into your OSD. So we've downloaded these files, taken them to our OSD, and we've plugged them into the OSD. Next step is we want to download a VNC uh, viewer client. So there's a version called Tight VNC. It's a it's released under GPL, so it's free software for non-commercial uses. Uh, we're going to download a version of it that we can use on our computer, this uh, Windows version here. Uh, once you've downloaded that and installed that, you can now uh, get to your OSC through Telnet, and we'll do the rest of the configuration here. So I'm going to Telnet into the IP address of our OSD. I'm going to log in using the common uh, username and password, which is root and password of Pablo D. So now I'm logged in. Uh, what I want to do first is is find the, uh, the files that I loaded on the SD card. So what you see are the two files that Baxter created. Uh, one is the X11 binary. The second is the uh, shell script for key uh, mountings. We're going to take those and, and um, we can leave them on the uh, the OSD on the SD card, or if you are interested, you can copy them directly to your OSD to stay there. To run the files, we're going to use the the uh, what uh, Baxter had described as the command line input here. So I'm just going to take this and copy it. And paste it right in here. So it's going to do a lot of stuff here. Once it's doing done doing a lot of stuff, what we have is a VNC desktop that's running. Uh, we are going to leave this window open because as soon as you close it, you close down the ability to connect to the VNC server. I will now go and run the tight VNC that we downloaded, the viewer here. And we'll connect to the same IP address uh, that we telnet it into, which is the OS2. So I connect. There you go. You can see the menu system that we can control. and. Uh, when I make a movement here with my keyboard, it actually moves it on screen on the TV also. Make a joke. We'll walk over here across the room to the TV that's being controlled. Okay. Jason's going to going to queue up a file from the USB drive. and here we're watching on the TV. There you have it. Thank you, Baxter, for all of your hard work. Nice job.